Hi, I'm Carrie. Hey, I'm Dave. This is TV Recaps for January 20th. HBO premiered their new series last night about a group of four gay men living and loving in San Francisco. They're calling it Looking, but I'm calling it... Yeah, though if you tuned in a little earlier and caught the end of Girls, you may have caught something that you weren't looking to see. Get it? Ah! Ah! Oh, I'm blind! Yeah! <laughs> so get up, Dave. Oh. This is where you came from. This okay. is where we all came from. Except for me, I was delivered by a stork. So Looking has set out to show a realistic portrait of the modern gay lifestyle. Yeah, I mean, it would felt real. I mean, as a gay man, there were some parts that I didn't see reflecting that I would have liked to. Oh yeah? What was missing? Oh, I don't know. Like, like when you sit in your apartment alone at night eating your feelings through a pint of ice cream in front of the television while marathoning episodes of Melrose Place on your Netflix while your dog licks your tears away and more and more hot gay guys who would never talk to you in real life follow you on Twitter so your follower account goes up but the sadness never seems to go away. Maybe they'll cover it in episode two. In all sincerity, I really did relate to Patrick's lovelorn ways and his sense that the gay community that surrounds him may not be what he wants right now. His bad day could have been ripped from one of my own personal diary entries. It looks like so you ordered two glasses and I ordered one, so um, how about you do 25 and I do 15? Does that sound fair? Yeah. And the whole process of looking at pictures of dudes and online dating profiles was a little too real. Instagram filters have ruined everything and I can't tell if this guy's hot or not. What do you think? Ooh, Patty, that is a lazy eye. I mean, even I can relate to that. Vine has ruined everything for me because I can't tell if a guy is interesting for longer than six seconds. All in all, I was into looking. Definitely gonna give it a few more episodes at least. Yeah, I like the characters, the storylines seem compelling, and I think it's pretty cool to have a different portrait of gay life so openly depicted on TV week after week. True, plus, uh, hello, the show stars Broadway's own Jonathan Groff. Now listen, Carrie and I, we are theater people, so trust us when we say this. Jonathan Groff is a grade A, free range, grass fed, premium stock hunk. So you're gonna wanna watch him week after week. And he was great on Glee. Don't sing your lines, Carrie. Please. Are you looking to watch more TV recaps throughout the week? Are you looking to subscribe to a new YouTube channel? Are you looking to follow new people on Twitter? Are you looking for a boyfriend? Contact us for all of the above. Looking. Looking.